all right i think i got this set up cool so hey guys how's it going joys of sorrow welcome to the joys of sorrow channel how's it going simmons now i haven't figured out uh stream labs yet on my cell phone i am using stream labs right now to film this but i am watching the chat through uh this old lab at least now i should be able to um so yep here i am guys again welcome to the joys of sorrow channel so i've pretty much almost got everything to start this project well let me put it this way i have everything to start the project now um to finish it i don't i just need two things more leather uh, mainly more leather um the other part is really optional but I, i'm not going to talk about it yet until i decide uh, i'm close to the end of this but so if you guys remember i purchased now not too long ago, a cold steel Viking hand axe. 55 hard carbon steel uh, for the, the axe blade. It's held in by a screw in the back right there. And it comes with a handle that's a little over 30 inches, but not exactly a, a yardstick. Um, now, unfortunately, there are some aesthetic displeasing uh, features of this axe. One of them being this little part right here, where the handles that these axes come with aren't always shaped up properly like they should be. And hell, sometimes they're not even properly lined up. So this one, it's just the cross hatch right there isn't proper. And uh, whoever, you know, that's, that's really the point. It works. Um, now, I've, ever since I bought this axe, I have been looking at other axes. And um, uh, right now I am looking at the Cold Steel rifle, uh, Rifleman's Tomahawk or rifle, uh, Rifleman's Hawk, I think it's what it's called. Um, basically it's a Tomahawk style axe head with a hexagon hammer head in the back, uh, which is supposed to repli uh, replicate the old uh, piece pipe axes or pipe axes. And then it has a shorter handle at about... Uh, 19 20 inches or so something around uh, this one here uh, Mainly for fun, but I, I do like it. Don't get me wrong I mean, I like it so much that I've invested more money that I paid to get the axe into all the customization I'm going to be doing to it uh, Now let me just loosen this little allen head screw right here These axes have at least at least the Viking hand axe uses an m6 screw to hold the axe head in place uh, so for those of you who are interested in purchasing this, uh, you should know that, that way, uh, because in all honesty, this, this is not the stock screw that it comes with. This is a 10 millimeter sized M6 screw to the metal, uh, at least in my opinion. Alright, so I got the axe head off. There's pretty much the actual weapon, the blade itself. Handle, we're not doing anything to today. Uh, but I will again explain what I'm going to do. So the whole theme I'm going for is uh, going to be, of course, a Viking style theme. Except rather than going with like a traditional, more of a, the dark, uh, the red woodish color or staining the wood to that proper wood stain, I want to go ebony. Uh, so I picked up some poly, uh, some of that uh, oil based, uh, where I can use that stain and start working on that. I do need to kind of give this axe handle a little bit more of a profile I am a little nervous about that because I've never done that before um, and I also have to start scraping off the outside of this handle main reason is the protective coating that the wood handles have I believe it's a beeswax coating so um, I have two ways or two options of, of how I'm going to do it it's I can just take the back end of a knife of a fixed blade knife and just start slowly stripping it off little by little and then finish it off with a little bit of sandpaper uh, the other option I have too which I'm still going to have to uh, being the beeswax off this handle but the main purpose of this stripper here is going to be for the axe head blade now again these are 1055 high carbon steel blades that are made in Taiwan um, but they do have this coating on it that if you're going to do any modification to the blade, let's say for example, darkening the blade, which is one of my intentions, I am going to use uh, 
cold blue or the steel bluing that's used for firearms um, in order to darken this axe head a little better I'm gonna leave try to leave the edge alone as best as I can I would like the edge to just kind of pop out of it and uh, on it um, and this is really the more easier way to do it I've seen some people on YouTube uh, the way they do it is they literally use a you know do it yourself at home forge or even sometimes just a fire pit and with a lot of coal a lot of wood a lot of fire just throw it in there for a good long while and I guess they just let the coating burn off and that looks kind of cool but I don't really have a place to do that uh, it's getting hot here in LA so fires are definitely no no especially where I'm at right now uh, so I'm gonna go ahead with the stripper at this point so for you know the hand the the hand the grab the hand grabbing parts to make it a little more uh, Viking and again I'm gonna paint this black with the with the bluing compound uh, I'll leave the edges and maybe do some tying around with some leather strapping uh, I, I have a feeling it'll turn out pretty decent so give me one moment <laughs> Don't lie to me, Tommy. No sound. How can there be no sound, Tommy? It's off my phone. <laughs> I'm going to put the axe head inside. Spray the shit out of it with this uh, citrus strip paint and varnish stripper. And hold on, I'll bring you guys down here in a sec. Alright. Whoops. Let's test out my front cameras, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Alright. So, I haven't even cleaned this up since I took this over to, uh, with me on my last. So, hey Tommy, how you doing, man? Yep. Oh. Let's see, directions, protects hands with chemical just as gloves, and eyes with chemical splash gobbles, be observant of torn uh, or accidental skin contact. Alright guys, I will be right back. Unfortunately, I have these uh, 13 mil thick gloves laying around, so this should definitely work for uh, protecting my hands. I stuff I don't think I'm really gonna need. The wind is, you know, pushing my back, pushing my back right now, so. Let's see. So let's go ahead and we'll start shaking this up again. Hold upright position approximately 10 to 12 inches from surface. Pour an arrow um, button away from your press to apply a generous orange coating. After 30 minutes or after 20 loose and finished by gently the direction of the wood grain with a plastic stripping tool for stubborn areas use an abrasive pads sprayed with citrus strip paint and varnish stripper a toothbrush or toothpick or stripping brush will help remove old finish more longer but yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing Let's see what is a 25 degree angle uh, go to school for that how many sharpening stones does it take? Uh, and just leave it at no. With 150% no. Uh, 
and about 600 bucks my kid broke the last one so but nice day out today sunset and then that's the computer I'm using to uh, monitor the chat okay I think I've done enough shaking of this all right now it says I have to do the chat right away there be me boat they have to be in an up so I'm gonna be It's at 30 minutes. Take my walk. Sorry if that upsets anybody. Let me flip this back around. There we go. So, all right. Well, it begins. So, there's step one for the Viking axe. I hope it turns out pretty well. Um, I. I was happy with how the uh, kukri turned out. But in the future, I am definitely going to make a Condura, or not a Condura, a Kydex sheath for it. A uh, Kydex sheath would definitely be much better than the sheath that it currently has right now. Well, they're actually meant for hammers. For, for it's, a, it's a little metal loop on a piece of leather. And you can put a hammer or certain tools on there. Well, people in I'm just kind of thinking right now, since I have the video going and I do have this handle, maybe I should just say fuck it and actually just spray the handle. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and spray the handle. Um, I do need to find something to put the handle on though uh a little backspace there's that brand new kayak that i have that i have yet to use i'm trying to sell it uh, pr asking price right now is going to be 200 extra uh so what is it called marine cord around it so if for any reason he's ever falls off or anything he can swim back to it and grab onto it at the very least so okay oh well, you know what repair now so i'm actually gonna use all right go ahead and shake this up yeah i'm just gonna spray this down strip it off and then tomorrow i can start with the uh Tomorrow I'll be able to start just fucking uh, shaping it. But I'm gonna. All right. Well, it's not exactly two minutes, but all right. Let's give this a bit of a spray here. Okay. Affect the performance of the stripper. Lives here, so. All right. So I got stripper. On. Worst part is done. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's the worst part or not. <laughs> but 
there. Alright, well, there we go. This, well, I should just throw them both away either way, just in case. That grub screw, and I took off the head so they don't lose it. There it is. I mean, I know what it is. I can always get another one, but, you know, I'd rather just save it. Little grub screw there. And put all this other stuff I had in here. All right. Put that back. Cool, cool. All right. So, yeah, all right, so I'm pretty much done for, for now, at least for step one, or step one and two, which is strip the axe head and strip the uh, handle. Um, tomorrow is, do I have time tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Th then I should at the very least, once that I've cleaned off all the gunk and all that orange stuff off of the axe head um, I'll start bluing the axe head so we can do it we can do it like that and then in the next stream I'll show you guys a little more of uh, what the, all the stuff that I'm using you know the, uh, the again I still have to pick up some more leather um, I'm actually trying to find more leather strap uh, I found some good stuff on Amazon, but it's pretty pricey. It's about 15 bucks for 72 inches of a quarter inch um, or three eighth inch, uh, you know, wide diameter uh, Laredo leather strap. So I am going to be a little bit more limited on the leather that I'm going to use. Like, here's the idea that I've got. I could get more of that leather strip uh, strap and keep winding and winding it about, but again, it's just going to cost me a lot more. Now I did find another, and I can use the leftovers to wrap around the axe head to make it a little more cool. Um, so I'm still going to, I still, I'm still going to have to uh, make up my mind about that. But I have a few steps to go before. more research as I go but all right guys I just wanted to do this little short stream just to show you guys that I'm doing something uh, and just giving myself a reason to do something really so guys thanks for watching if you like the stream hit the like button subscribe you guys have a great day um, I gotta admit I do like my the, the cameras that my phone has Alright, yeah. right, guys, have a good one.